hello my dear friends and family uh, from our last class uh, we have uh, seen a lot of uh, mathematical uh, tricks which involves in a uh, vedic mathematics okay as i told as i every time i will told the max tricks it's not like uh, any black magic the max trick is nothing but it's thinking something a uh, different way or uh, logically okay so the vedic max helps us to reduce the uh, toughest uh, uh, things which happens uh, while we are performing uh, some basic calculations in mathematics okay so whatever you may be uh, study maybe in uh, engineering or you may be a uh, uh, any professionals uh, uh, maybe anything okay but very basic knowledge in a uh, mathematics you need to be a uh, very strong okay so for example just assume uh, you may be a uh, engineering or you may be any doctor okay if you take a few more uh, time to calculate anything then obviously that everybody will used to laugh it okay so no profession is maybe anything but very day to day life the max is involving that is a main problem okay we cannot avoid the math mathematics like any other subject like a science social geography or a history okay or maybe in a in, in tamil english any any languages okay we cannot avoid this because the mathematics involves we are a live along with the mathematics in our day to day life okay the everything which is in surroundings or involves in the mathematics isn't it you may i think you all agree with me okay so we cannot avoid the thing mathematics so very basic very basic for example if you are going for any shop if you are uh, if you purchased a nearly uh, for two to three items then you made a easy calculations and you may give it uh, give the money for example if you buy a lot of things uh, like uh, 10 to 20 items then you need uh, some more time then you will take a time okay so why uh, how the vedic mathematics helps means you cannot think it for few more time you can make your calculation so fast okay so what i am coming to say means you cannot avoid the mathematics or you cannot think the math okay she is only teaching addition and subtraction why can't i want to see it okay because we are living along with the mathematics so we cannot avoid the mathematics okay so for a very slow learner uh, the vedic mathematics helps very hugely okay so in a vedic mathematics um, they have told a lot of um, tricks uh, how to overcome the very uh, big large uh, number for example uh, 4789 into 389 okay so how you simplify the multiplication how you simplify the steps okay so it's definitely will help you and uh, in before class in a before video itself i have told about the 10 point circle so i like to remember one more time because this is a base thing for a vedic mathematics okay so if you are new to this if uh, so only i'm just taking one more time i'm not taking i'm just recording one more time but you i have thought already very detailedly in my before videos okay so vedic mathematics very basic um, method in a vedic mathematics is 10 point circle method okay so 10 point circle method will uh, gives a pairs of 10 i will tell you how it is gives 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight nine and ten so what is mean by ten point pair means what two number what the pair of what the pairs gives a number ten okay so the what is mean uh, nine and one that is nine plus one is equal to ten isn't it so uh, this is not a very uh, tough to remember because we already know 9 and uh, 9 plus 1 is 10 ok uh, well 8 and 2 also we get 8 plus 2 10 7 plus 3 10 6 plus 4 10 only 5, 5 is remaining so it is adding itself 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 ok 
so what is the usage of knowing the pair means if you are making any addition for example just assume i've told you already one example if you buy a 20 to 25 grocery items okay so if you have a pairs number for example listen i will come you uh, come up with the on practical exam uh, practical example for example you are going for a uh, grocery shop okay okay so you you buy the rice for a uh, 50 kg okay then you buy the wheat for 62 kg 62 rupees sorry then you have buy some vegetables it's around like um, uh, 98 okay and you have buy some things like uh, any vessels or plastics items or things i have just put it like a uh, vessels okay okay and you have uh, buy uh, nearly uh, 73 rupees okay so if you if you just take the number alone 50 62 98 73 okay so it will be very difficult to instead of 50 i have written 7 here so it will it will show how you how this uh, 10 point circle help you so i've just uh, made a correction here 57 okay okay so if you just think 57 62 98 73 if you uh, perform the addition what will you do 7 8 9 then 9 plus 8 8 then after no you keep on uh, doing the addition but the 10 point if you were very well versed it's not a big thing to remember about the 10 point circle okay it's a very easy very easy pairs 9 and 1 8 and 2 7 and 3 6 and 4 and 5 and 5 it's a very easy so it's not a anything a very different or a very tough to remember it it's very easy okay so if you uh, remember about the pairs of a uh, 10 then you can perform it easily what is a uh, um, uh, how are you going to do 8 and 2 10 7 and 3 10 so 20 is the answer 2 is a carry so this is how it helps the vedic mathematics helps us for our day to day life okay so and also not only the 10 point circle we have seen a lot of uh, uh, tricks which is involved in the vedic mathematics okay always from our kg class we always used to perform these addition subtraction division from the uh, right to uh, sorry from the right to left okay so uh, when, for example when you make uh, any um, uh, digit i uh, want to add any digit for example you just see ones tens hundred ones tens hundred you always perform we always perform from right to left okay so this is from our kg classes we have used to get practice about it isn't it okay so in vedic mathematics what they are trying to say means if you perform left to right okay if you made anything if you are um, addition or even or subtraction or even it's a divisions uh, for the basic calculations if you perform left to right method it will be more easier than right to left method so this is a left to right method left to right method okay so one thing i want to share is means whenever we are trying a first thing okay so from kg to uh, still now we always used to perform from the right to left this is very new from left to right is a very new so it may be a difficult for a two two three sums you cannot come to the judgment okay if you after you performed two two three sums you have definitely you feel uh, very difficult because we are not practiced to it okay so if you after one day if you again you feel it's a difficult then you can just avoid it and you can go with your back from the k from the right to left okay so just try it how it will uh, check whether it will be useful to you or not okay so we are going to perform from the left to right left to right 
so this is the addition okay shall we do okay first we want to check whether it have a 10 point uh, pairs yes it's have a 10 point pairs isn't it so uh, how you are going to uh, add this Z, uh, 10 here so 0 and the 1 will be the carry 1 will be the carry here okay so 6 plus 1 7 here 7 okay next 2 plus 1 3 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 4 10 here is that it 1 should be added to this number then it will become a 7 Okay, next 5 plus 6. The so 5 plus 6 is 11, isn't it? So, how you, are, how you want to think logically? 5 plus 5 is 10. So, 1 is a additional number in the 6, isn't it? So, then it will be 11. So, 11 and 1 will be the uh, added to this. 1 plus 0, 1. So, we need not to have the one carry here. So, we can keep this number. Okay. Next, we are going to perform the next sum. Okay. So, as I said always, we want to see whether it having a pairs. That is 10 pairs. Okay. So, if you check, is it having, is it, so then it will be very easy to perform. So, 10 and here also 10. Okay. So, here 9. Then, listen, <coughs> if here, 8 and 5 if you see 8 and 5 if you are very uh, or average in the mathematics you just leave the finger is it 9 and 10 you need not to leave the finger just think it think math mathematic tricks is thinking logically Wh why I am telling at every moment every second means you you should be think logically which you should keep on thinking logically okay Okay, so 8 having a 5 and 3, isn't it? You know, 5 and 3. Okay, so 5 and 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. So this is what thinking logically and this is the way to reduce the step and this is the way to minimal, this minimize your timing. Okay, so always if there is a, any big number, you would just uh, try to split the numbers and perform the addition means then it will be easy. Okay, so well now we are coming to the point now. Okay, so here 10, so here 9, so no, the carry should be added here. But whereas here is a 10, so 0, so after uh, added a 1 to the 10, then it will become a 0 here then 1 should be added here already 10 is there so 10 plus 1 is 11 so next here 13 so uh, 3 is here so 1 should be added to this number so 1 plus 0 is a 1 okay so this is the left to right method next we have wish uh, so here every number have the corresponding number and up and down so here uh, I have uh, there is a no number here let's check it whether it's coming uh, correct uh, working very well on this type of um, sums so 2 5 8 9 10 and 11 isn't it so 11 so 1 should be carry here then it will become a 9 so this is what left to right method okay so I have uh, practiced for one day uh, or not one day fully just 10 to 11 sums if you are keep on trying means the left to right method is very easier when comparing to the right to left method it's my point of view if you just you just try it for a 10 sums okay 10 additions uh, uh, after you performed 10 uh, uh, sums then again you have felt it is difficult just award it then you go back to your our old method okay